Candid camera. What are we doing today, Wes? <laughs> oh, candid camera. You're hilarious. You always just catch me unexpectedly. Uh, well, I'm just kind of chilling today is what we've been doing, but uh, we're getting ready to figure out what kind of materials this we need to get for this bus so we can get a ceiling in here finally. People will be so excited. Yeah. And eventually paint. So, this is going to be the last part of this channel. I'm going to start a new channel. But this will be the finishing of this bus, buttoning it up, getting it done. Got a bunch of gear shipped in for the ceiling. Gonna paint and underbase storage. Yep. And then as you saw on the way in, Kobe's running around here. Kobe's. Kobe's. Yep, bud. Say hi. <laughs> it's a little warm for him. But as you saw on the drive in, got the uh, second or it's technically ZEP3 mini bus is here in Kansas right now. I'm going to finish buttoning up some things on that. Probably take that back to the Midwest for the videographer to get it uh, early next year. Like maybe the you know first couple days of January is the plan right now. Finally got the commercial insurance, LLC set up, all that liability and stuff done. Kobe's. But anyways, we're going to get a material list put together, figure out what we have, and then go from there. How far do you want me to go? Well, just to the, to the top of the transition. Top of the transition? Yeah. Okay, bring it in a little bit. The highest Yeah. So just like many starts to these videos, we are going to be starting with a trip to the hardware store. And we're gonna just get everything that we need, both for the mini school bus behind me, as well as the old Zep 2. So I am very excited to get this painted actually. So as I said before, we're gonna go with a flat black where it's all gray. Rubber rails will get sanded down and painted with the flat black. This will be white. And where we're staying, uh, Brett's son goes to Oklahoma and he knows where to get these rear caps for my tires. So instead of having that yellow there, it'll be the same as on his awesome truck. So with this particular rig, these are the same uh, rims that I have, but they mill them down to 20 inch rims. And this is what the back of the bus is gonna look like. So he's gonna pick up that cover for me, which is gonna go on the back of the bus and we're gonna make it all fancy. So another big development with the bus will be the ceiling. What we have determined is actually going with a center piece, which is four foot, and then smaller pieces over to the side. Going to get all the lights wired, probably do six right here, four in the kitchen area, and keep the hallway the same as well as the bathroom and the bedroom. It is nice being back in the bus, just having my office set up, having everything good to go having the fridge full and just living tiny again. Cause before this, I was living in an apartment in Nashville, did the downtown city life thing, but it was very expensive. Like just for the rental and groceries, like buying food downtown Nashville, it was like $4,000 where in this rig per month, it cost me like 12 to $1,300. And that includes an extra $200, like an emergency, the bus is gonna break some time fund, like factoring that in. So it's much cheaper living this way. It's a lot more free in terms of just your freedom to do what you want, when you want. So it was cool checking it out, but I don't necessarily think that lifestyle is for me whatsoever. So right now, Wes is cleaning out the back of his truck so we can throw the wood in there. Need some help with that? Nope, oh, got her. <laughs> Go Buck jumped in and joined me for a second. Oh, I bet he did. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be able to plug plywood in there now. Good deal. We actually got a 
fairly large list, which reminds me we need to grab the list. Yeah, I think it's still in the bus. I in think bus. it is. I also finish up some projects on this, but I'll show you that later. So for those not from the Midwest, Menards is the place to go. So what's, what's first on the list? Well, let's do, let's go to the like plumbing section and try to find the stuff for the sink for the little bus. Okay, so the last thing you saw was a big truck picking up a Jeep. That is because the rear glass in the uh, transition up there is a Jeep Cherokee Laredo. And we needed the transition piece as a cover for when we put the wood up there for the ceiling. So we're able to track that down. We got plumbing for the minibus. This is the material that we're going with for the, uh, the ceiling. Being it's going to be painted, kind of went with the cheaper option, but it is just a uh, quarter inch and it'll bend the way that we need it to. So we're getting there for basically the foreseeable time here. I got all of the uh, prepping materials for sanding the bus down to get it ready for paint and helping out with the uh, ceiling when Wes needs help. So probably take it easy the rest of the day man we've just been running around it's about four o'clock right now probably get some work done online hello everybody so actually i can't go outside because it's a little windy right now but we are getting started on a couple projects wes is moving the water heater in the minibus which i'll show you in a little bit and i will be starting the first prep of getting this bus painted it's been two and a half years been a long process of getting to this point but actually starting on getting the outside prepped for paint so first thing i'm going to do is go through with a wire brush there's a lot of goop on the windows from the sealant sequiflex kind of gooped out put too much on there well i put a very safe amount on there to where that sequiflex would just basically goop out get a complete seal and i knew i'd have to take it off later Now's the time to do that. So I'll go through all the windows, get that all set up, and then go through with a sanding wheel, which is going to be a very long and tedious process. So we're going to get started on that. I'll show you the minibus now. There's the Kobe's. What you doing in here, Wes? Getting organized, getting ready to start uh, moving some stuff around. Getting my tools. Getting, uh, yeah, just get my mind wrapped around it. <laughs> Why you gotta catch me on the, on the spot all the time? <laughs> so, actually moving the water heater outside because, oh, thanks, Kobe's. Because the issue is, water heater's down here, but it it's not vented. So it was actually warming up the bottom of this butcher block to the point to where you could smell the wood <laughs> in, in the rig. So it was a little... A little nerve-wracking having this, especially like if it was Wes or I, we can keep an eye on it. We know it was there, but if random videographers or this turns into a rental someday, you just want to make it dummy-proof, you know. And even us, you know, you get used to it, you don't think about it, you leave it on for a while, and next thing you know, you got some embers on your butcher block. So, <laughs> putting this bad boy outside. Yeah, it's a cook stove up here, but we don't want to be cooking over here. Where? <laughs> right. That's where it should be. That's right. But I'm gonna get started on all this stuff. Do an update in a little bit. Okay, Kobe's go. Whether up eating or not. So 
Okay, got the first side done. As you can see, just went in, got all the access Sequaflex. Those that have not seen the bus in real life is just really goopy, kind of like this. This is a spot I miss. I'll have to come back and get this. But with the uh, with that DeWalt drill over there and uh, just a wire brush, it's coming right off. I mean, the bus looks better already. Feed it or not, my 